From Words Radio, Indonesia number one hit music station. Kalau muda, I'm right now with Elena Casillo. Hello. Hi. Hey, where are you right now? I'm in Los Angeles. You're in LA? My... Yeah. And you're in apartment. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, hello there. I am Ralvi. It's uh, my first time meeting you, even though it's yeah. uh, via Zoom. So how are you, <laughs> Elena? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Been at the studio all day, so about to start streaming after this. Streaming? What are you going to stream? I think I'm going to play Among Us for the second time. And for see the how second we- time. Yeah. So you're, uh, you're a person of many talents. You, you first did YouTube uh, back in high school, and now you're 21, I assume? Wait, 20. You- I'm about to be 21 in like three weeks or two weeks or something. In three weeks. You're going to be 21 in three weeks during the pandemic. How is yes. that? How is that? <laughs> Like, you can't yeah. really celebrate, like, all out and go outside. No, I can't. But I, I like staying in, too. So I think, like, I'm going to be with some friends. And it's literally going to be the person I live with. And we're just going to kind of, like, rent out a really nice area or, like, a little Airbnb or something just so yeah. we can get litty by ourselves, basically. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just, just spend time with your uh, closest friends and loved ones, right? For sure. So I, I think you need to share your story on how you started out in music. Because you started out just singing covers and mm-hmm. and then online. Your first cover was my everything. It's it's unavailable now online. But yeah. I understand it. And every time you sing it, uh, every time you saw the video, it makes you cringe. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, very- so, are, are, are you a fan of Ariana Grande too? I am. I love her. I love her music. She like, I feel like I kind of jumped onto her, like her music later than a lot of people. But whenever I did, I was like, Mm -hmm. yeah, I love her. So, (laughs) yeah. Because I saw a video of you doing an ASMR of Parat and you, you kind of slipped in positions in that video for like five seconds. (laughs) Yeah, it comes sometimes. (laughs) It's just, it's (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so how did you start out in music? Anyways, started in high school, right? Yeah. Well, I actually started singing in the church choir, but that was kind of where I learned that I didn't want to sing in the church choir, and I wanted to kind of go off into like a solo kind of vibe. But in school or high school and everything, you can't really do that. So I would just do choir and stuff, and it, I was like learning a lot of things there with like vocal ability and things like that. And then um, I started doing YouTube because I knew that I wanted in, I think, high school, I kind of knew I wanted to do something there, but I didn't know how to. Mm -hmm. So I started it in ninth grade. And then in 11th grade, I really started going and making covers. And that's when everything kind of started. So Mm -hmm. So how did you meet uh, your producer at first? Anyways, how was that? What's, What's the story behind that? He DM'd me on Instagram, I think, and was like, hey, like, love your sound or whatever. Come see how you're going to sound on this, like, blah, blah, blah. We'll see if we work well together. And I was like, okay, and got, like, kind of sketchy and stuff. But then I called <laughs> them on uh, Skype. This uh-huh. was before we used Zoom all the time. We probably would have used Zoom now, but, like, on Skype I called them. And uh, I heard that they had a, an English accent, so I was like, oh, shoot, like, these people are, are official. Holy shit. And then yeah. like, I just went out and to LA with my best friend and we met them for the first time and everything was rainbows and happiness after that. <laughs> now I'm like in a studio every yeah. day. And, yeah. Do, do you like that? Like you're spending your time in the studio like every single day and uh, mm-hmm. making music? Yeah. It's, it's at this point, it's like, something that I just love doing because each thing that you kind of have to do in the studio, whether it's writing or putting down melodies or finding beats or something to make a song with, it's just fun to me and I love it. So it's great. So how did social media and technologies like help you get to where you're at right now? How do you think, uh, how important is that do you think? Yeah, it's super important because that's how I am sitting where I'm sitting right now. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think 
like a lot of people are kind of afraid to use it and that's what a lot of people said to me whenever I started using it but I was like no like this is the way to go I'm gonna make it happen it's fine but it really does it allows you to put your videos out there to people that you can't verbally and physically say here listen Mm -hmm. to my voice and it just helps like spread it all and then if there's something that's trending or that like will support your video to make it like have more views and stuff that really helps so it's just great because it allows people to share their their talent and their yep. art and stuff. yep and just share who you are online sure. just uh, just let people know i mean that's what you're doing with playing among us right yeah <laughs> that's one of the things no <laughs> so uh yeah let's let's talk about your uh your newest uh, music video and uh your newest song it's called Parate, right? Yeah, Parate. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. So so what, what's up with that song? Parate is my kind of take. Um, it's like a more, it's whenever you're kind of in the feels and you let your like thoughts and everything get to you and just bring you down every single day um, and you're kind of fed up with it and it's not even like a happy, like, oh, I need to be more positive. It's like, I'm literally like, I don't know what to do anymore. I need to get out of whatever I'm feeling. So that's kind of what it's talking about because it's me like saying, okay, stand up, like come to terms with the fact that not everything is going to be perfect, but it's your outlook on that. And it's how like you don't have to let your anxiety get in the way of everything basically. Yep. 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 And your music jumps from English to Spanish. So effortlessly, I mean, Uh, How important is making songs in both languages for you? I think it's just something that I've always wanted to do because it's another side of me that maybe people don't know or maybe they want to hear more of or something like that. Um, And it's always just been a fun, creative outlet for me, my language and, and learning and being interested in all these different cultures and stuff and that's what inspires me I feel or that's what helps inspire me Mm -hmm. so that's why I feel like I I want to put it into my music because it's it's fun to sing that but at the same time I'm also connected to it in a different way than I was before so yeah yeah that's really nice to hear I mean is there any upcoming projects from you any new new stuff coming through Yes, I am going to have a little Christmas surprise. Ah, uh, Christmas! It's just around the yeah. Sorry, I got all excited. I'm sorry. Okay. I know. Uh, that's me too. I'm so glad. <laughs> You're the first person that's done that. I am uh, obsessed with Yesterday, it. yesterday it was raining here in uh, Jakarta. I was like, I was super <laughs> gloomy. and like, what can I do to make it better? You know what? <laughs> Let's listen to some Christmas music. And it was kind of yeah. cold and it gets the mood up. I just love, I know. I love Christmas. <laughs> It just, it helps with everything. Yeah. That's, that's why I wanted to, yeah, I got you. Don't even, well, this is, it's a little <laughs> twist, twist Christmas song, but All right. yeah, you'll see. But yeah, definitely been working on a lot of music that is going to come out super, super soon. New year, new beginnings. Am I right? New year. I, I know what you mean there, sister. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I also read that Christmas music makes you happy. Uh, any like favorites? Oh, so many. Um, oh, like, like all of them. All of them. Probably, I think. Yeah. Um, I think maybe have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Or I'll be home for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> there's, I can't even there's think like of them so now. There's so many in your mind right now. Oh, I like this, <laughs> like this, like that. I don't know I what just, to pick. I just um, love Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Or maybe like the little drummer boy kind of kind of vibe. Um, yeah. I feel like any Michael Bublé, you I know. I love him. I love him when he's doing covers of Christmas songs. That's what I listen yeah. to all the time. Michael it's Bublé. Holiday, so. I know, I know. Well, with the yeah. holiday season coming up, and anyways, how's the state right now? How's LA? Is everything like a okay? Yeah, it's. I mean, there's still like a bunch of like there's been fires and things like that but um it's yeah it's all who knows 2020 who knows? 2020 <laughs> it's been a heck of a roller coaster right for all yep. of us in the world love 20. well thank god we still have christmas music 
anyways. I know. Uh, we still have one hat. <laughs> well, uh, I read that your favorite color is black. How come I don't see any black in your room? I like, oh. I could have a pink chair, but I uh -huh. got a black and white chair. Um, I have a Kotsky pillows behind me. Yeah. <laughs> um, full setup, like all of my desktops and my mouse pad and stuff are black, but then I, I can hit you up with. Damn, that's nice. Hat. I need to get I'm one of those. Yeah, it like changes. It's pink and black, like half of yeah. my closet. So more it's than half my like black. black, pink. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice pun. Okay. So I feel like I still need time to talk to you. I know it's fun. I mean, Elena, uh, you talked about how happy Christmas music makes you. Is there mm -hmm. any favorite christmas movies movies oh yes my dad he like okay my dad is just a hard person to please you know uh -huh. he's a typical like spanish speaking dad you're always like oh shoot like just intimidating or whatever in the uh -huh. best way possible um but he absolutely loves christmas time and he always like wears a cute little beanie with like socks all the time and stuff and that's just so outside of his personality and he always has us watch this video the christmas story i think it's called mm -hmm. um with ralphie and it's hey, that's my name it, i'm ralphie hey! right. so, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was meant to be but yeah that's <laughs> I think my favorite uh -huh. probably okay so it's called the christmas story I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. All right. I'll definitely check that out. Okay. So, Elena, thank you very much for your time. Colin, don't thank forget you. to check out her latest. It's called Parate. And her music video is up now on YouTube just a week ago, I think. Yeah, literally a Two week. Two weeks ago or a week ago. And you can also mm -hmm. check out her videos from before. I love Tonight, by the way. Thank you. My yeah. roller debut yep i'm solo dancing in my room oh yeah. last but not least if you're solo dancing in your room what's your go-to song or karaoke song or the song that gets you going yeah it, well i mean definitely tonight for sure um since it's talking about solo dancing in my room yeah but there's also a song called runaway by galantis or something like that okay. and that's like like scream it from the top of my lungs. Oh, was this like you and that? Uh, uh. Was that yeah. Song? Okay, I know that song. I have it on my playlist as well. Yep. Yeah, it's amazing. Nice. All right. Okay. So Elena is gonna stream Among Us. I think I'm gonna watch it too. I also do streams, mm -hmm. but I, I'm I'm still a newbie. Uh, yeah. Well, so cool, yeah. So. Yeah. I do. I do Phasmophobia and Pacify. If you know that game. I have no idea what that's the horror game. I hate horror, but I feel like but you I want to play it more. That's me. <laughs> well, Elena, thank you very much. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy and all the best for you and your upcoming works. Best of luck.